What is good, YouTube? My name is Tyler Rossman, and this is... Sydney Green. <laughs> and you are watching Tross Films, and we are dating. Surprise. Today, we are gonna be getting to know her because I haven't actually said anything about her on my channel. So I guess we'll talk about how we met. In Minnesota, I went to high school with somebody and then coached with somebody named Gunner, and his mother works with Sydney and the mother lives in Minnesota and is good friends with Sydney. 2021 or 2022 or so, I was asked by my friend Gunner to be on his podcast and I was on it. It was my first time ever on it. It was a cool experience and I enjoyed it. I was visiting her in Minnesota where Tyler lived and I was also on the podcast and listened to it fairly often and I had not listened to Tyler's episode and my friend Beth recommended that I listen to it and for some reason I I took her up on the advice and I just heard Tyler's voice and was immediately swooned. And then all of a sudden I come back from a October weekend with my mom at her cabin in Wisconsin and I saw that somebody had followed me and put two stories on Instagram and I was like who is this person? But I didn't share his stuff on social media or follow him with the intent to actually start interacting with him and for him to like, for us to get to know each other. That was kind of a surprise. So I get a lot of random messages from people, so I don't really think much of it. But this one I saw that was, I had a mutual friends with my friend Gunner. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll like, I'm curious to know what they, what she said, but I'm gonna check in with Gunner. So I actually texted Gunner to see if she was like real slash normal. And once Gunner said she was a cool dude or, <laughs> Once Gunner said that she was pretty cool and chill and awesome, you didn't say dude. I was like, okay, cool. Like I'll just message her to kind of see what she said because I was curious. So from that conversation, we basically just got information about her listening to the podcast. So from there, I didn't really think much of it as well. And then from that, I thought it was just gonna die out and nothing was gonna happen. But then she asked a question about where I was living, I think, then said, oh, I'm in Minnesota, but I, I bop around a bit and that I was like gonna be going to Massachusetts. Um, but that kind of just slowly started trekking more conversation and then little conversations of questions started getting bigger and bigger. And then I talked about wanting to go back to Vermont and I kind of thought that she was saying that she was going, but she threw it out there, let's go together. So then I was just like, why not? So when I visited my friends in Cape Cod, I actually met up with her in real life at their house in Lemonster, Massachusetts. And that's where I met her for the first time, as well my friends did. And I remember exactly how she smelled. She smelled really good. And I remember her walking up through the window. And then we actually met my friends' parents at the same time, and they thought we were already dating, but that was technically the first time we met, which is kind of funny. So then we ended up going back to Connecticut, where Sydney's from, and then we bopped up to Vermont and just like hitting it off super well and all the car ride adventures and everything we did. Yeah, and before we even did the bop up to Vermont, um, I was suggesting just one like day trip up to Vermont and Tyler's like, oh, why don't we just spend like four or five days together basically, which I soon found out that Tyler was hoping to spend a little bit more time on the East Coast and I happened to be the way that that happened. So yeah, we agreed to stay together for like four nights or so before we had even met each other in person, which is kind of funny. Feeling good about meeting Sydney in general is because of our conversations in the messages that she sent, it was very detailed and it was very, it was very real and it was very. <laughs> Don't you, you done, baby? A lot of our conversation that I noticed was that she was very intentional and she was very engaged and she asked a lot of questions and we really fed off each other. And that's what I really liked about it because I could tell that she was very genuine just from the onset. Way that I described it to other people is that to me, it felt like brushing your teeth. You don't really think about brushing your teeth. It just feels very easygoing and natural and something that you are just used to. And so that's kind of how I felt when I was talking with Sydney and then that's when it kind of confirmed it when we were 
meeting together for the first time and hanging out and just hitting it off. So you have anything else you want to say about that? Yes. When me and Tyler first met, I did not think that we would end up dating. He treated me very much like a friend and I had to move things along for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I guess that's how she felt. So we started talking in October and then ended up dating December 11th. And we met in person around Thanksgiving. We're now making this video at a year and five months and one day post our initiation of our relationship. <laughs> and we were basically doing long distance for the entirety of it. We would see each other about one time a month for like three to five days. And we usually would do something really fun. How I ended up, everything worked out for me is that because I was basically working for myself slash coaching part-time, I was in a place where it was really easy for me to move. And because she's kind of based out here with work in Connecticut, I was the one that ended up hopping on the airplane and moving out here. And I officially moved out here June 3rd of 2023. So almost a year in a couple weeks. So we've been living together since then. And we're in winter. Or Locks, Connecticut, which I didn't know was a place until I met her. And we're madly in love. <laughs> we drive each other so crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's been a wild roller coaster of love. <laughs> and we went to Patty for our one year anniversary, and we just returned from Patty in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. um, but that is why I have this cute little scarf on, and we'll make another video about that. So, yeah, with that being said. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, as always, my name is Tyler Rossman. Thank you so very much for taking time out here to watch. Really does mean a lot. And I'll catch you on our, my next adventure. Let me say peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya.